Hello, I'm Sarah Black. And I'm Theo Black. And here is our review in under three minutes for Foxtrot. No spoilers. An Israeli family gets some bad news about their son who is in the army. I like this movie. It's pretty good. I would describe it as uneven though. It's It has this weird problem where one character gets some pretty good character development. He's kind of an asshole, so I'm not sure how much I care about him, but he gets some good character development. However, the surrounding characters don't get as much character development, and because of the way the movie is set up, it's, it's very much a, a character piece around this family. It makes it worse because they aren't as dynamic. And then on top of that, for the midsection of the movie, I felt like the cinematography, which was really good in places, I love this like overhead circular shot that goes askew, like that's great. But in the midsection, we start to get shots that are held for so long that yes, I understand repetition and misery. I don't need to see it over and over and over again. I agree with you about the characters and the unevenness. I disagree with you about the midsection. First off, I love the first section even. It's almost like a blow by blow family grappling with this information. Like yeah. there's no, it's it's not real time. And, and they have a, um, an interesting setup to kind of help you understand the passage of time, but it feels like it. Then I love the midsection. And not to get into spoiler territory, but the whole movie is about life and cause and effect and I guess how you think things are gonna go and what you think is gonna happen versus what happens. And so the repetitious nature of the shots, the way they held on it, like that worked for me. And it's so rare that the filmmaking is what captures my attention because I don't care about it the same, it's important, don't get me wrong, but I don't care about it the same way I care about characters and story. The thing is, I think the midsection is the more interesting part of the movie to me, story-wise and character-wise, but I I don't need them to hit me over the head with the visuals. I think I needed them to hit me over the head with the visuals, and I liked being hit over the head with the visuals. <laughs> Maybe it fi that's why it finally works for me, because normally I'm like, ah, oh, that's a pretty camera shot. But this time I was like, oh, I get it. <laughs> I get why we keep doing this camera shot. I do still think this movie is pretty good, even with the issues. If you like indie or art house type cinema, I suggest going to see this. <laughs> yes, it's a little uneven, but the parts that worked for me really worked. And I think it's worth seeing for that reason. We're going to want to talk about this more on Twitter. Yes, with spoilers. You can find me at Pigeon underscore Sarah. And me at Pigeon underscore Theo.